Hi, it's Gordon here at Averlight, and I'm going to take you through some of the more advanced palette functions that you have inside Titan. One of the first things that I use often on gigs is nested palettes. Nested palettes are where you can make a palette that looks at other palettes. So in this particular show file, I've got a number of rows of moving heads. Now, if I select each row individually and give them some color information, then of course, that's what they're gonna do. But to make my life easier, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a nested palette. If I select my rear spots and I choose white, my mid spots and I choose the next palette I have, the next group and the next palette I have, then you can see now that there are three palettes active. This is because shown by them being lit light blue. If I say record and palette, I can get into my custom palette menu. We'll have a look at this in a minute. But on the next page, I've got record nested palettes, which by default is enabled. Now, if I double click inside my colors window, it's just gonna store that palette information. You can see that I've got that white information, that red information, and that orange information. Now nested palettes come in handy because maybe one day I've decided that this white instruction is actually not for me. Rather than updating that palette and then updating that palette, because nested palettes is enabled, I can record new information into here and it's gonna update this palette as well. So if I've decided this is the perfect color, I could say record into this palette and quick merge. Now, starting from scratch, I'm gonna grab my lights and locate them. And if I press this palette, you can see that those lights now have that new color information. So they have that magenta on the back row. Nested palettes are great for positions as well and work in exactly the same way. Rather than having a drummer position, a guitarist position, a bass player position, a singer position, and then a band position, what I could do is I could use a nested palette for the band. And then if I update any of these musicians positions, then it will update this band position for me. In the previous palette video, I went through the process of using quick record. Quick record will only record one attribute inside these palettes. If you wanna record a custom palette that has more than one attribute in, you can do as well. Say with these lights, I've got this color information and this position information. Now, if I double tap into the colors window, it will just store that color. If I double tap into the positions window, it will just store that position. If I tell the console I wanna record something, I then press a palette. On my soft keys, I've got my custom palette record menu. I can choose whether it's a normal palette, a global palette, or a shared palette. I also have access to a mask. Now, I've pressed record and I've pressed palette. If I click in this window, I've stored a shared palette that's got position and color information. Now this shared palette is gonna be able to store one instruction and share it with all fixtures of the same type. This is why all the lights have gone left now. If I tap record and I tap palette, and I make sure that it's a normal palette, then okay. Now I have all of this information that I want in there. As soon as I press that palette, all of those lights are gonna to go to that position and to that instru color instruction at the same time. You can always see what is inside any of your palettes by pressing open slash view and selecting that palette. At the moment, you can see that there's hard instructions in there. There's definite DMX values. In your context menu, I can choose whether I show nested palettes or hide nested palettes. So you can see now that I'm looking at that singer position in this particular palette. From version 11.3, you can also have access to this button, which is view playbacks using palette. As soon as I press this, any playbacks that have been recorded on the console using this palette will be indicated in this workspace window.
proven by the fact if I press open slash view and tap this palette, I can go into the context menu, say view playbacks using palette, and you can see there that there are three playbacks using this palette. Give it a go, see how you get on. Thanks for watching and tune in to the next one.